Have you ever won an argument before? You could be 30, even 40 years old, and I bet you never have. Now, you might think you have, but you haven't. And here's why. What does it mean to actually win an argument? Because if you're going in and you already thought you were right from the onset and you end thinking you're right, the other party hasn't changed his or her mind. How is that a win? Think of a game of chess, checkers, a game of ball. Both parties come in neutral, in a neutral state. And at the end of the game, one party admits to the other, you are the victor. But that doesn't happen in these arguments where you think you won. You see people come out of an argument, they're like, yes, I did it. I stated my case, so I got angry. I, I said some really good points, but it doesn't matter because at the end of it all, that person still thinks they're right and the other person still thinks that they are right. So nothing's changed. Think about war. Are there ever two sides on the battlefield that come guns blazing, bayonets ready, spears, whatever time in history, has there ever been a time when both sides met on the battlefield and one side said, wait a minute, oh my goodness, you guys are right, and they dropped their guns? No, you know why? Because they're not focused on the arguments. They're not focused on the points that they're debating, they're focused on anger and hatred. Are you a Democrat or a Republican? As Americans were raised either Democratic or Republican, we're also raised thinking the other side is always wrong. As a born Republican, that's the mentality. Democratic views are wrong. Oh, what are those views? If you're somebody who cares about politics, you're probably pretty angry at me right now thinking, oh, that's nonsense. I always look at both sides. But your gut reaction immediately as a Democrat or Republic is that the other side is wrong. Here, <laughs> you want a fun exercise? Do this. If you're in LA or New York, I encourage you to go over to anyone in the street and ask them, what do you think of Donald Trump as president of the United States? We know what the answer is going to be. Oh, terrible, terrible president. And then follow it up with, can you name three of his executive actions? Donald Trump did almost 900 executive actions in office. Ask for three. They won't know one. <laughs> it's just so interesting because they're so focused on the anger and the mindset and, and just convinced that they're right, that they don't even know what they're arguing about. So I have two comments here. First of all, it's not a winnable argument if the other party's mind has been made up already before the argument. And secondly, if the other party doesn't like you or you don't like the other party, your mind cannot be changed. So where's this all coming from? Why did Mark just come on YouTube and start spewing about arguments. Unfortunately, last week, for the first time in six months almost, I had to block someone on LinkedIn. I don't like blocking people because I really enjoy the debate aspect of making posts. Hillary's one of my favorite followers, and he argues with pretty much everything I have to say. I think it was a week or two ago, I made a pretty aggressive post and he actually persuaded me that I was wrong. And that, that's what happens when, when somebody writes an argument but not attacking you as a character, but attacking your logic and you read it and you're like, okay, you know, my mind can be changed. But last week I made a post about student debt. I get it, really controversial topic. And my argument was the government should not be paying off student debt. Controversial. And one of my followers wrote a comment First statement being, Mark, as somebody with a master's degree, I would expect you to understand loans better. Personal attack. Your moronic viewpoints, personal attack. Okay, so I replied to that comment. And my reply was, make a logical counter argument, earn a friend, 
encourage healthy debate. Attack my personality, attack me personally, dot, dot, dot. That was my comment. To which he responded, if you couldn't see through the personal attacks and read my argument, you're truly a moron. <laughs> what do you want me to say? So I took down the comments and I blocked him. I love healthy debate, but I don't like personal attacks on character. Look, if you're going into an argument and you want to truly win, here's how you do it. You don't go into win. The way you can possibly win an argument is if you go in with an open mind. You go in thinking, all right, I believe I'm right, but if the other person has a valid counter argument, I will allow myself to be persuaded. Because then you're focused on the argument, you're focused on the logic. Now here's how you do it. You go in thinking this person I'm speaking with is a friend. Like you go to these school debates and everyone's they're like so angry with the other side. And they really, it's not about logic. You're just, there's so much hatred in there and there's so much anger that you can't focus on the logical points. Well, I guess school debates is, 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 a, bad, is a bad example because you're never going to let yourself be persuaded. But if you want to win an argument, smile. Listen to the other party first. State your case calmly. And then think logically. And hopefully the other person will as well. And one of you has to come out the victor. But in reality, you both win. Because you're friends. And you thought through the logic. And somebody emerged victorious. I hope this helps you. And I'll see you next week.